Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're debating, well, learning, whole numbers versus counting numbers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. Now, there's not much of a difference here between a whole number and a counting number. And we're going to go through all well, these numbers here and determine which ones are counting numbers and which ones are whole numbers. Now, counting numbers, as you can guess, really start at 1. When you count, you start usually at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and keep going. Whole numbers are different. You start at 0 and then have all the counting numbers. It's just slightly different. Basically, whole numbers are counting numbers with zero added. So let's kind of go dive in here and see which ones are whole numbers and which ones are counting numbers. I'll go say here we have counting numbers. And we'll have our whole numbers here. So let's start with our counting numbers. We start with, well, one. Don't see one here, two, then three is a counting number, so I'll put three there. 5.2, well, is not a counting number. It's not part of the things we count. There's that decimal there. One quarter, we passed it already, and well, one quarter is an accounting number. It's not part of the numbers you count. And like I said earlier, we don't start at zero when we count. So going through, 15 would be a counting number. If you're counting to infinity by ones, you would hit 15, and the same with 105. Now, the whole numbers. Zero, per our definition, is a whole number. From there, it's the same as our counting numbers that we have here, 3, 15, and 105. One quarter and 5.2 are not whole numbers, and they're also not counting numbers, and we'll dive in later to find out what specifically those types of numbers are. Well, hopefully you learn the difference here between a counting number and a whole number, and you can identify them. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.